Hello everyone! With my non-makeup face today, <laughs> which means I am going to be doing a demo for you, so stay tuned for that. Um, welcome! Where are you all tuning in from? I'd love to know. We always like to know where people are tuning in from. It's so interesting to know whereabouts in the world you are, so do let us know, um, of course, in the comments. Um, as always, we love our live shows to be really interactive and um, today's exactly the same. Um, of course, a different topic for you though. So this is going to be all about serums. So it's my Serum 101 for you. I hope this will be really helpful. I'm really excited to tell you all about serums, how they work on the skin, why you should use a serum. Um, honestly, like... Serums, I love a serum. I absolutely love a serum. Um, hi, Kathy from Austria. Amazing. Hello, Rose. Lovely to see you. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate and I am our lead skin coach here at Pi. Um, we've got the lovely Katya, as always, um, on chat for you. So if you've got any questions, please do feed them in. Um, we love answering um, any questions that you've got. So just feed them in. You can also minimize us. So if you want to like carry on like browsing around the website, you can absolutely do that. And we literally just go into the little corner at the bottom and we'll carry on chatting away to you and you can just browse and you can come back at any time, ask us a question, carry on browsing. So yeah, do what you need to do. Um, I've seen some hearts come in already, so that's perfect. So I'm guessing you can all like hear me okay. Um, Anja from Brentford. My um, my partner is, he works for Brentford Football Club, so he works on the charity side, um, but he's a big Brentford supporter as well, as now I am. I do love the boys, so welcome to you. Lovely to have you. <laughs> Hi, Julia from California. Amazing. So many different places tonight, so that's perfect. Keep feeding them in, please, because I love to see where you're, where you're tuning in from. Um, but yes, so... Catches on hand, are ready to answer your questions in the chat. I will try and get round to some at the very end of the show. So keep feeding them in. Like I said, we love it to be as interactive as possible. Um, if you're liking anything that I'm talking about, do the lovely hearts that I can see coming through. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. Cool. So, Serum 101. Amazing. Honestly, one of my favourite topics. I, I do really love a serum. So if you've had a consultation with me before, I probably have mentioned serums to you in your consultation. Um, so am I and my partner. Oh, amazing! Have you been to any games, Anja? I would love to know. Because maybe we've like seen each other and we haven't even known. And if not, maybe we should... I'll see you at a game shortly, I'm sure. Um, anyway, back onto skincare. I get very excited when anyone says they're from Brentford because that's really lovely. Um, right, so um, serums. So firstly, what is a serum? So serums are really concentrated products. So the only reason that you would use a serum is for a particular concern so for instance it could be dehydrated skin it could be blemishes redness hyperpigmentation those kind of things so your serums are always going to be like your targeted products so they're going to target a specific skin concern so always think of it as a serum a skin concern it's going to help to target a skin concern your moisturizers are going to be more relatable to your skin type and yes some moisturizers can have actives in them to help with certain um, skin concerns like obviously we've got our vitamin c moisturizer that is really hydrating but it also helps with brightening the skin and helping with pigmentation and fighting free radicals so there, there can absolutely be some moisturizers that can have an active to them Whereas like serums are, they're really going to get down to the deeper layers of your skin. So a bit of a science lesson for you is that, so if we look at the skin as a whole, um, in skincare and, you know, cosmetics, we just focus on the epidermis, which is your top layer of skin. That might seem like, oh, why are we even focusing on one layer? That layer has five layers to it. So your serums are going to go right down to the bottom layer and work from the bottom upwards. So they really penetrate the skin deeply. Your moisturizers only go from the top downwards. So they're going to like gently 
gently moisturize and protect the skin and then your serums are really doing all the hard work if you need one. Like I said, it's very relatable to what kind of skin concern you have. Um, so yes, so um, next part of, from the epidermis, you've got your dermis, which is where like it's your chunky layer, it's where a lot of, all basically all the good stuff is basically formed. So like your elastin, your collagen, your hyaluronic acid. Um, so quite a lot of like active ingredients like vitamin C will help to stimulate collagen. So it will go down to the skin receptors deeper in the layers of your epidermis to basically help to stimulate um, your collagen to like wake up and start producing and help it to synthesize. Um, and then yeah, with like hyaluronic acid, it's gonna help to plump up. So particularly like with like hyaluronic acid, and so it, it basically forms up the volume of your skin. So when you look at elastin, collagen and hyaluronic acid, they film, they, they form up this extracellular matrix in the skin, which is basically like your natural scaffolding. It's gonna give your skin that strength and structure. But of course, as we know, these things start to deteriorate over time, slowly, but they will start to deplete. So our job in skincare is to basically replenish what we naturally lose. And obviously that will be different for every different person. So that's why there are different serums out there, different actives, things like that. So my job, particularly in consultations, as well as my lovely colleague Holly, um, is to help you navigate around what actives and what serums you actually need. Um, so with hyaluronic acid, for instance, as that starts to deplete, and that's the volume of your skin, it, it will start to, so if we look at the dermis and then your epidermis, they'll start to basically do this. So your epidermis will follow suit. And that's where we tend to start to see like fine lines and wrinkles. So what we want to do is plump back up that epidermis. The dermis, no skincare can get into the dermis. If it did, like it would be classed as a medical product. So we're trying to plump back up um, that epidermis so that things smooth over and things like that. So that's what a hydrating serum will do, for example. Um, so that's the reason that you would that you would use a serum, like it's to target a specific skin concern. Where would it fit in your routine? Lightest to heaviest. So your serums are your lightest products because they are getting really deep into that epidermis and working from the bottom up. So Think of them like, I have this great clothes analogy that I've shared before, and if you've watched any of my live shows before, you'll have seen um, me, me speak about it, but um, it's my clothes analogy. So um, basically, your serums are like your underwear, so your support. Women, think about your support bras. That's all I can say, support bras, woohoo! So um, they are literally gonna like, give your skin that support that you need, whether it is for dehydration, um, redness, hyperpigmentation, blemishes, whatever it is that you need support with. So underwear is your serums. Then your moisturizers are like your clothes over the top and then your oils are like your, your coat, so like your raincoat. They lock everything in, keep you waterproof, all of that stuff. So that's how you would layer it in a routine. So um, ideally, of course, we cleanse in an evening or we spritz and refresh the skin in the morning. Um, then we apply the serum, moisturizer, and if you are applying an oil, you put the oil over the top. Um, so that's kind of like routine wise. I am going to demo this for you um, because also you can mix and match um, serums with, with, with things. You can mix them with actives and I'm gonna show you that with our boosters in a, in a minute. Um, hence why I have no makeup on today, guys. So, you know. <laughs> I literally just cleansed my skin as well and it's dying for some for some products so we'll talk about that in a minute. Before I do, I'm just going to introduce you to our three lovely serums. So I've got them all here and this is my lovely shelf um, that I do consultations from home with. So I've got all the products here. When it, if you do have a consultation or if you've had a consultation with me before, um, you'll have noticed that sometimes I do um, pluck products out to kind of, kind of to kind of show you. And I'm gonna do that now, because I want you to sh I want you to see how um, thin and how concentrated these products actually are. So let's start off with All Becomes Clear. So this particular serum is for our blemish prone and acne prone skins. 
This one is really great at calming down blemishes. It will calm down. So you know how sometimes if you get acne and you get quite the big, like painful bumps on your skin, um, obviously like a lot of us have experienced blemishes where they're red and then they might have a white head on them or they're just really painful. Um, this is going to really help kind of calm down the inflammation and that's what the Copaiba helps with. It's also got a natural, a natural antibi antibiotic. That would be great, wouldn't it? Um, an antibacterial to it, which helps with um, sort of like any of like the bad bacteria that appears on our skin. Um, and it also, um, with the zinc as well, that helps with like our natural oil production. So copaiba and zinc are your two main ingredients in here, but it's a great anti-inflammatory and it really helps to like calm and soothe the skin, but it is also working at your blemishes as well. Um, now, the reason that blemishes tend to appear on the skin is because um, dead skin cells, oil, impurities that land on the skin, they can get clogged inside your hair follicle and then that forms a plug and then that can get inflamed and then raised and then hence there's there's the blemish so um this is designed to help kind of calm down that inflammation but then also help with that antibacterial to kind of help prevent any further breakouts from happening um so if you are breakout prone this would be a great one for you it also does have um, a low molecular weight um hyaluronic acid which basically just helps to keep the hydration in the skin because a lot of like acne and blemish products they can be quite um like quite drying because they tend to strip the skin of its natural oil as if your natural oil was a bad thing when it isn't. It actually creates your acid mantle, that lovely protective layer. So we don't want to strip all of that away. We just want to regulate that oil production and that's what this will help to do. So that's all becomes clear. I'll just show you what it looks like. So this one looks quite creamy, but when I massage it into the skin, look how fluid that is. So that enables it to sink right into the layers of your skin and really get to work straight away. It gets to the heart of the problem and works from the bottom upwards. So that's why, see, it, they don't stay on the surface for very long. They are literally just going to absorb and just work, which is brilliant, which is what we want it to do. So that's all becomes clear. It's gone already, brilliant. It's working away, not that I have any blemishes on my hand, but it's working away. <laughs> um, next, for our hypersensitive skins, our Instant Karma Serum. So Instant Karma is a really lovely one if, you are, um, if you're prone to rosacea, if you get red quite easily, if you've got hypersensitive skin so it's quite reactive. Um, this is great at fortifying your barrier. It's got some lovely ceramides in there. And ceramides we naturally have within the skin. So if I give you like a little science lesson on ceramides, so if you think of your skin as like bricks and mortar of a house, your mortar is made up of your natural lipids, water and free fatty acids. So that sort of lipids part is your natural oil and that oil content is created by your ceramides, cholesterol and amino acids. So they work really hard together to form up this really strong cement to hold your skin cells together and fortify your barrier and it won't allow anything in. If you think of bricks and mortar of a house and if you have like a hole in the cement or, you know, if the cement is quite weak and then the, you know, like the bricks start falling apart and leaving holes in there, it will allow, you know, so much stuff to get in and damp to get in. Like that is what, it's exactly the same for your skin. As soon as we have an impaired barrier, that's where bacteria and impurities can get in and cause a bit of havoc in the skin. So if your skin is quite hypersensitive, Instant Karma is the one for you. So natural ceramides in here. You've also got this lovely Sassandra extract, which is a great anti-inflammatory itself. Um, and then you've also got oat extract, which is a great skin calmer. Um, and then you've also got Siasta, which is another um, anti-inflammatory. So these lovely anti-inflammatory ingredients working really well with the ceramides to strengthen and soothe a really hypersensitive skin. So really great for rosacea prone skin, um, if you're prone to getting redness quite a bit and also hypersensitivity. And if you just have quite reactive skin and you just want to strengthen your barrier, this is the one for you. So again, let me just show you. 
so this one has like a a more creamier look to it so like a yellowy tone to it and again look how fluid it is and they need to be like that they need to be like that so they can actually penetrate your skin so it's beautiful like that and don't forget that you can actually multi-serum as well. So multi-serum basically just means that you can apply a different serum in different areas. So say for instance, you were really breakout prone here, but then you get like, maybe you have rosacea or redness prone skin here and quite hypersensitive skin there. You could literally put all becomes clear here and then instant karma here. That would be absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, that, see, again, already gone in. My hand's gonna be lovely and soothed after after this. <laughs> um, the final um, serum that we have in the range, is my personal favorite, is Back to Life. So Back to Life, sorry, I also want to mention that Instant Karma also has the low molecular weight hyaluronic acid in it as well. Really important just to, again, fortify the barrier um, and keep it nicely hydrated as it's also soothing. So that was that. The reason I mentioned that is because Back to Life has the ultra low mocular weight and that's because its main focus is to hydrate your skin. So with hyaluronic acid, we naturally have that, as I mentioned before, in the dermis. It makes up, makes up part of that structure of your extracellular matrix, that natural scaffolding that keeps everything upright and plump and youthful and just looking its healthy self. Um, so the ultra low means that it's at really small molecules that can just really, really penetrate and make sure that we're really hydrating every single cell as it's maturing through the layers of your skin. Your skin is goes through its natural cycle um, every single month, like we would normally say like every four to six weeks, depending on age. Um, but we want to keep those skin cells nicely hydrated so they are really are protecting you. If they are dehydrated at any point, um, they start to weaken, they can't like cling to each other properly, they're not gonna fortify your barrier. Hydration, I've said quite recently that, you know, it's talked about a lot in the beauty industry, but I still think it's quite underrated. No one like really realizes how important hydration really is to act, not, like not even just like the general health of your skin, but how your skin like functions, how it keeps its strength. You know, hyaluronic acid naturally in the dermis is hydrating your collagen and your uh, elastin. So we really wanna make sure that we've got a good production and if we're not producing enough that we're replenishing what we naturally lose. Um, also within this, you've got three lovely Australian berries um, that really help to maintain your moisture barrier. So we're getting the hydration in and then we're locking it in. Um, and that's what Back to Life is brilliant for. Um, and again, I'll show you what it looks like. So that's it there. And it's just like water. It's like a drink of water for your skin and it's just so lovely and fluid. And again, that will just seep in to your skin and really get in there and really hydrate all those lovely skin cells for you and fortify your barrier. So just, and it smells. Oh my God, so good, so good. I wish you could smell this through. Um, have any of you used any of our serums? Have you, um, like, so the Instant Karma, all becomes clear, back to life. Let me know in the comments if you have and if you really love them. I personally could not be without my back to life hydration serum. Um, I'm gonna literally show you now how I work this into my routine. So this is gonna be my evening routine. But I'm just going to see if Katya needs any help with any of the questions. Because I can see you guys are really chatty tonight and I absolutely love it. Um, let me see. Di, hi Di, me and Di um, chat quite regularly, so it's lovely to see you Di, and you're tuning in. Sometimes she misses the live shows and then she, she lets me know that she's rewatched them, but she's live today, so lovely to see you Di. Can you use two serums at the same time? So, they say that you can, as in like you can layer a serum over another serum. I personally, I'm just thinking from a sensitive skin point of view, I would do it, do them separately. So say for instance, you could use one serum in the evening for a particular concern and another one in the morning. So for instance, if you've got dehydrated skin and then redness, you could use the Back to Life Hydration Serum in the evening because that's when we tend to lose more moisture at nighttime as your skin is working so hard. So it's quite good to do that in the evening. And then 
you tend to want more protection from redness during the day because that's when you get those kind of triggers. So I would then use Instant Karma during the day. That's an example for that. Or um, if you only use serums in the evening, you could choose to use one serum maybe three evenings a week and then the other serum four evenings of the week. That's also an option. Or you could multi-serum, as I mentioned before, where you could use one in one area, one in the other. Um, yeah, it just really depends. But um, if any of you are unsure about whether you need to do something like that, just book in a consultation. They're completely free and we can help um, kind of navigate that for you and give you the best advice on what's perfect for your skin specifically. Um, but great question, Di, thank you. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Anja also has, loves all the pie products as well as loving Brentford. I like you. <laughs> Juliet, I can see that Katya has answered you and so has Tanya, brilliant. Kathy, instant karma, love it. Well done, yeah, absolutely. It's a great instant, I say it's a, it's a great instant karma, it is. Um, I have all the pie skincare, but I haven't inserted a serum into my routine yet. Oh, that's interesting, Tanya. Um, I'm hoping after this, you might consider it, but that's if you need one. Like, remember, even though we're focusing on serums tonight, don't feel like you need one. It will only be if you've got a particular concern. So the, the three serums that we've got target dehydrated skin. So when you kind of have that tight feeling, maybe like dullness in the skin, um, you might have those... Uh, tiny, um, fine horizontal lines. Um, and then obviously like redness, um, one of them targets and that's, um, obviously instant karma. Um, and if you've got hypersensitive skin and then the other one is for blemishes. So, um, yeah, if you think that any one of those, um, might be good to target one of your main concerns, then yeah definitely give one a go because they really do just get into the deeper layers of your skin and work from the bottom up so they get to the heart of the problem straight away and if you are unsure like I said book in a consultation and we're more than happy to kind of help and um, advise you on what would be the right solution for you you use back to life too I think we're going to be best friends <laughs> Um, right, okay, I'm gonna do this demo and then I'll come back and help catch you with any more of your questions. So keep feeding them in, because we absolutely love it. Um, I love how chatty you're all being tonight, so that's perfect. Makes my job a lot more fun. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna take my ring off because my partner would not be happy if I was getting uh, product inside my engagement ring, so that's not good. <laughs> so, I cleansed my skin earlier, um, just to pre-prep it. You don't, you guys don't need to see me like washing my skin or anything. So I've already done that with, um, what did I use? Middle Miss 7 I used tonight. So just to give some moisture back into my skin, I am going to use Century Flower. Um, my skin is dry dehydrated skin type. So um, I'm going to be focusing on back to life um, and um, one of the boosters and also a moisturizer. But I am going to give you recommendations on how you can do this for your skin as well. So the reason I am misting my skin um, is because it's really good to apply a serum to slightly damp skin. And the reason for that is going back to what I was saying before about how our skin is, you know, it has some water component in our natural barrier. So that mortar part of our, of our skin, that has water to it. And it's really important that you, your skin is slightly damp because it will just aid absorption of the product. Of course, we wanna make sure that serum is going right down to the very bottom layer and having it slightly damp will be really helpful. I love using a mist to do this because with this one particular, it really helps with hydrating the skin. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it's also got inulin, which is a great prebiotic, and that will feed the good bacteria on your skin. So really good if your barrier is a little bit impaired or if you're quite prone to irritation. Um, and it's also got a magnesium complex. So it's got lots of lovely minerals to really help feed your skin. Um, so that's the reason I'm using this. If I had just used Middle Miss 7, uh, my skin is slightly damp from having used the cloth so I go straight in with my serum next um but in the morning I tend to use this to, to refresh my skin and it's slightly damp so then I can apply the serum so I'm just going to spritz spritz this over my skin oh my god 
feels and smells gorgeous. Let me know if you love and use this tonic because it is brilliant. We absolutely love it. Um, so now my skin is slightly damp. I'm going in with Back to Life. So I'm just doing one pump for me. Oh, actually, I might need two to be fair. Um, and I'm also going to add our vegan collagen to it. So this is really great if you do have dehydrated skin. Mixing it with Back to Life um, helps to lock in moisture. So collagen that we apply onto the skin, I'm just putting two drops in with my serum. So one to two drops of any booster you can add to a serum. And yeah, collagen um, that we actually apply to the skin has really large molecules. So if you kind of refer back to, don't forget the neck as well, neck and decollete guys. We don't want that to age. <laughs> um, so, oh my God, my skin is just going like, yes, give it to me, give it to me. Um, so yeah, collagen has a larger molecules. So that means that um, obviously if we think about collagen in our skin, it is large because it how it's the strength of your skin. You know, it forms up that natural scaffolding. So we need it to be really strong and, and quite large. So when we apply it onto the skin, it can't really like penetrate down to replace collagen. People think that when you look at collagen in skincare, oh, it's gonna replace the natural collagen. No, it doesn't. Um, but what it does do is it helps to lock in that moisture because of the large molecules. It almost gives you like, a, almost like a film, um, but without being like silicones where it can kind of, um, you know, not allow the skin to breathe. Um, it's it's very much um, able to still work with your skin and allow it to function normally. So um, that's the brilliant part about that. Um, but yes, you can literally mix any of our boosters in with a serum and that's my favorite way of doing it. You can also mix them in with like a moisturizer or um, vitamin C could be mixed into an oil because it's oil soluble. Um, you can apply them directly onto the skin if you want to as a serum. Um, but remember, these are actives, they're just actives. Like whereas serums is like a whole product. Our formulator gave me a great analogy about um, serums and the boosters. So think of serums like a fruit salad you know you've got all your lovely components in there you might have um strawberries raspberries blueberries maybe a bit of apple in there you know a nice whole rounded fruit salad this is a whole product um and then your boosters are kind of like adding in like i don't know um adding in like more strawberries for instance so like say for instance if we had of like a hydrating booster, you would add more to this sort of thing. But if you're adding something in completely different, so like vitamin C into um, the Back to Life Hydration Serum, it would be like adding in another fruit in there. So this has got like loads of fruits and then a, a different booster can add in another fruit. So it could be like, I don't know, it could be adding in plums or something or nectarines or peaches. Um, so hopefully that kind of helps you to kind of differentiate between the two because it I think because you know we bring out so many new products now it's hard to know like what you would use and um, that's what the consultation service is for as well we can definitely help navigate around all the products to find the perfect routine and solution for you um but this is just kind of that's one of the the kind of ways that we help you kind of visualize how certain products work on your skin why you should use like certain products um so let me give you a, like another example of course i've just mixed the vegan um collagen into the back to life hydration serum to help further my hydration um at night time i quite like to use the peptides um so peptides are really great for that sort of like i suppose like we don't like to use the word anti-aging but that age confidence sort of boost um and then I quite like to use vitamin C during the morning. So like I said, you know, this is great for like hydration, but it doesn't have like my big antioxidant protection that I need during the day. I'm in, in front of a computer screen or I'm out and about and I need that antioxidant protection. Um, and that's where the vitamin C works really well with this in the morning. So it's boosting my hydrating serum 
with um, some lovely antioxidants from vitamin C. Um, and then I get my age confidence at night with peptides. But um, I quite like using vegan collagen during the day because it really locks in my hydration. But I also like using it at night because again, it's locking in that hydration when we do lose quite a bit at night time. You can mix and match. Literally, the world is your oyster. But I think that's where people can get a little bit overwhelmed. So um, if you are unsure about what boosters you know you should be using with your serum, or whether you should be using boosters or a serum at all, that's what our consultation service is for. So do book yourself in. They're completely free. They're 20 minutes, but you don't have to use all of the 20 minutes if it's just a quick question. But still, you can still book in, ask us the quick question, and then at least you know. We would much rather you ask than, you know, you be whistling and worrying about what you can and can't use. Um, but yeah, there's so many different avenues that you can go down, but um, we help you kind of zone in on you specifically. So it's all about you. Don't think about any what anyone else is doing. It's all about you. So that's back to life with vegan collagen on my skin. It's feeling lovely. And then I'm just going to finish that off with the love and hate moisturizer. So at the moment, my skin, particularly in winter, it's quite dry and um, I need all the moisture I can. About four evenings a week at the moment, I'm also mixing some of our rosehip oil in with it. But tonight is my night off of rosehip. So I'm just using the love and hate moisturizer. So And that is just going to seal everything in. And like I said, it's going to work from the top down. Don't forget the neck. I love it. And now my skin just feels so nice and hydrated. Don't worry about my red cheeks either because when I, when I, when I talk, I get really like warm cheeks. So that's where the redness is coming from, my friends. I've actually got like, if you can probably see here, this is my skin condition. So this is my psoriasis here. And I actually use, um, I've been using a bit of rosehip oil on it actually at night. So after this, I will um, quickly go into my bathroom and just get a bit of rosehip and put it over the top. But I put moisturizer here too. And the rosehip kind of locks it all in. So that's winter skin for you, honestly. Sets off all these different dry skin conditions. So if you're the same, I feel you. Um, so that is um, a demo. So um, that's how you would kind of like layer your products. In the morning, I tend to refresh my skin with Century Flower. I don't cleanse again. Um, and the reason we say that is because it can be quite a game changer for sensitive skin. It just you know, your skin is naturally repairing at night time. Your natural oils are um, repairing your acid mantle. So we don't want to get rid of all of that hard work. Unless you feel the need to, unless you feel like you need to cleanse, that's fine. Middle Miss 7 is such a gentle cleanser. I would highly recommend. Um, or if you're more of like an oily skin, then you might prefer the um, light work cleansing oil because oils cling to other oils and it helps to remove any excess. Um, but generally we would say refresh in the in the morning with like warm water or century flower, absolutely brilliant. Um, then I put on the Back to Life Hydration Serum with the vitamin C um, and the vegan collagen to lock in the moisture. Um, and then I put my moisturizer on and then of course SPF. Um, you can mix the vitamin C into the SPF as well. Um, and then in the evening, double cleanse, um, put my serum on and I mix that with the peptides and um, booster and then um, I put my moisturizer on and sometimes like I said four evenings a week I use um, the rosehip oil mixed in with that but that is literally just an example on how you can kind of mix and match your products add in the boosters to make it really work for you. So just remembering that serums are really an entire product. They're gonna do a lot more for you than um, just adding an active. Um, actives are absolutely brilliant, do not get me wrong. Like I absolutely love these and they're great to add in. Um, if you don't have a particular skin concern, then you might just use an active on its own. Like for instance, you might not have dehydrated skin, redness or blemish prone skin, but you might just want some antioxidant protection and that's where um, the vitamin C is just really good on its own so you can apply them directly onto the skin um, but serums are really going to do a lot of hard work for you so that's the difference remember my fruit salad
or John's fruit salad, should I say, because he's the one that gave me that lovely analogy, and I love an analogy. Um, right, okay, so let me see if there's any more questions that um, Catchy didn't get round to, and then um, we'll, we'll, we'll say our farewells. Um, so, let's have a look. Oh, lots of you love the century flower. It's one of my favourites, I really do love it. Um... Oh, Catchy's answered that one. Real. Catchy's been on it. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Faye, I'm not sure if Catchy's like typing away, but just in case she isn't. She probably is, but just in case she isn't. Um, is it okay to use middle miss seven to take eye makeup off, please? This is so helpful, re serums. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm glad it's been helpful. Um, I love serums, so yeah, I'm I'm glad it's helpful. Um, so I'll tell you a bit of a story with middle miss seven and eye makeup. Um, in short, it doesn't get all of it off. So Middle Miss 7 is absolutely brilliant. It's actually my favourite cleanser. I have such a soft spot for uh, Middle Miss 7. It is brilliant. Um, and I use it most nights because if I'm not going out and about anywhere, I've not really got anything on my skin. So I'm just doing like a quick cleanse. Um, obviously, when I'm out and about, I've got makeup, SPF on. So I definitely do do a double cleanse. Now, with makeup... Um, this is where light work comes into its own because we created it as a makeup and SPF remover. Um, your makeup is oil based um, and that's and with an oil cleanser, oils cling to other oils. And that's why they're so effective at breaking down those oilier products and lifting them off of the skin really gently. Um, and then it's got this emulsifier in there that makes it go really milky and that's and, and when you add water to it and that's basically the emulsifier combines water and oil together so that it can effectively be removed from the skin. If you think if you use something like coconut oil, it hasn't got that emulsifier in it, it leaves a film on the skin and it's like without an emulsifier, if you put oil into water and you can see it bubble and separate, um, it's yeah they just they're just going to separate and they don't you know they don't do anything together but the emulsifier brings them together and connects them to make them go milky and that loosens everything off of the skin and then you rinse it away um so um a little story um i came back from holiday and i went to stay at my mum's and i had forgotten my light work cleansing oil i had makeup on um, because we we're going out for dinner and so i just removed it with the middle of seven that night i was like it's fine i even got like the cloth and really like made sure that i went like up this part of my eyelashes and things um and to be completely honest um it, I woke up the next morning and I still had panda eyes. So that's where the light work cleansing oil is brilliant because every single time I use light work, I do not get panda eyes. So there you go. If you're wearing makeup, it's definitely worth doing the double cleanse because it makes sure that absolutely everything has been completely removed from the skin. Um, but middle miss seven is great if you're not wearing any makeup at all. Um, and you know, you just want to give your skin like a really lovely clean, gentle cleanse at night. Uh, but middle, uh, but middle miss seven and, um, the light work cleansing oil work really well together when you have been wearing makeup and SPF. So there you go. Hopefully that's answered your question <laughs> in a long bout way. Um, Tanya, when is Pi coming out with an SPF? So Tanya, we already have one, but it depends, depends where you are in the world. So we can only ship it to the UK and Europe at the moment, sadly. Um, there are restric shipping restrictions in the US. Um, so we can't, can't unfortunately ship it out there, but hopefully we'll get over that, um, someday in the future. But for right now, sadly, um, we can't ship it out. If you do want any, um, SPF recommendations for, um, over in the U S or wherever, where you are, then we can certainly help with that. Um, but yeah, um, sadly it's only available in the UK, in Europe. If you come over here and, and purchase it and take it back with you, it's fine. But, um, yeah, sadly we can't, we can't ship it over, unfortunately. Um, what else do we have? Oh, catch his answer that one too. <laughs> Love it. Um, I wish Pi made a foundation too. I mean, that would be great, wouldn't it? I'd love us to do a tinted moisturizer, to be honest. Um, 
but we are because we are a skincare brand and obviously we focus on sensitive skin they are just focusing on skincare at the moment so but never say never who knows we could absolutely come out with you know we've got obviously already got um, impossible glow so maybe we will come out with more in the uh, in the future who knows um tanya i need a uk trip yes you do and come and visit us when you do absolutely right guys Thank you so much for joining in. I hope this has been really helpful. My skin definitely feels lovely and hydrated now. It's got all its lovely layers on there. So um, thank you so, so much. I hope it's been really informative. If you've got any questions, do feel free to email us at support at com, And I think Katya um, puts that um, in the comments for you. But yeah, if you've got any further questions, just let us know. We're always happy to answer them for you. Um, no question is a silly question. So always just send them in. Um, and of course, if you want further help with your routine specifically, maybe like you want to add like a serum into your routine after watching this, but you don't know which one. Um, maybe you've got a serum and you want to add boosters into it, or maybe you're using the boosters and you want to now add a serum. Like we can absolutely help navigate and find the right um, routine for you and the right products for you specifically. Remember, Forget what everyone else is doing. I know there's a lot of products on our website now and there's a lot of products out there and so many people are saying different things. We focus on you specifically. So we get to the, the right kind of products um, for what your skin is, is really needing. Um, and don't forget your skin does change all the time. So if you ever want like an update, you can have as many consultations as you like. They're always free, they're 20 minutes. You don't have to take all, all up the 20 minutes, but you're more than happy to. So. Yeah, do book yourself in if you need to. Um, we're here to support you. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will be back soon for another live show um, in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for those. But I hope you really enjoyed it. I certainly did. So um, now my skincare is all done for the evening. You know, I can go and chill now. <laughs> Um, but thank you so much, everyone. And yeah, I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.